Hello there. Oh, welcome in. You have a great day. Uh, maybe you just stood up. Let me check again. Oh, is this working? Yeah, this is working. It's a little loud here. Good. Better. Yeah, way better. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Oh, and we'll be starting in about uh, one minute, in about one minute. Take this a little bit closer so I can see if you're chatting something. Okay. If you're writing something, if you'd like to join in today, today's topic is effortless. And I'm not really sure where we're we going right now, but we'll see. Effortless, being with the flow, right? What does effortless mean to you? If you like to join in, come to sit. Sit down if you're sitting bones on a pillow or up on some books. And I'll introduce me, myself. Introduce myself in just some seconds. How are you feeling today? How do you see your body feeling today? How are you feeling today? Good. So, my name is Marcel. And I'm not alone here, but I'm Chapa Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. I'm here just for the instructions and Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> so, if you'd like to join in in this yoga lesson, just come to sit right now. You can move your butt cheeks a little bit apart if your hands if you like. So you can lean a little bit forward with your lower back. Bring your right hand to your belly, left hand on your chest and breathe in deep into the belly and into the chest. And maybe feel how your hands are moving. hand is moving up and then how your left hand is moving up first breathing into the belly then into the chest we're coming a long way already we're now at day 206 Honoring that for a minute. Great. Breathing in deep. Your rhythm that feels good to you. Release your arms by your sides and bring the arms up by your sides, breathing in again. The palms are pointing forward. As soon as they are over your head, hold your breath for just a second and then release. Your arms by your sides down. Releasing the arms down completely. Holding your breath and breathing in again. Hands overhead. Mm, breathing out. Whew. 
releasing the arms by your sides, holding your breath, breathing in again. Long, long, long from your sitting bones up to your fingers. Good, and then release. Oh. How does that feel to you? I'm breathing in again. Last time up. Be sure to make some little breaks there. When your hands are over the head, make a little break. And your hands down, little break down here. Or you don't breathe. Good. Bring your palms to your thighs and move the palms forward and backward on your thighs right now. does that feel? What do you feel on your palms? What do you feel on your thighs? And you move the palms forward and backward on your thighs. And at any point your sitting pose becomes uncomfortable for you, please feel free to change it. Feels good and awesome. And from there bring your shoulders forward, upward, then backward and down. Focusing on the backward movement, forward, upward, backward, and down. Just go where it feels good to you. Don't push over a limit where it really feels uncomfortable. You try to go limit where, to somewhere where it feels good to you right now. And last time, going in your rhythm, breathing in deep one more time. And releasing your arms by your sides. Bring the right hand down on the floor. Extend your left hand from your left sitting bones to the top of the left fingers. Drawing the belly in and up. Getting long from the left sitting bone. So rooting your left sitting bone down to the left finger. And keeping your right body, right side body long as well and release, changing the side. Right sitting bone pressing, pressing into the floor and lifting your right hand up. Great. Drawing the belly in and up. And change it around again. Other side. Left hand up, breathing in. And breathing out, changing. Just leaning a little bit to the side, keeping your left side body long as well. Good. And from there, let's round to the right. Release your head, draw the belly in and up. So you're leaning through the side and then breathing out. Breathing in, lean to the left. Leaning to the right. Smiling. Don't forget to smile. And try to make these movements effortless here. Breathing in deep. In a way, flowing, right? Good. Take a deep breath in.
and I'll invite you to come to a standing position. Make sure you move slowly as transitioning is half of the yoga. As I always say, try to make this transition also part of yoga. So move mindfully slow. And from here, when you came to a stand, shake your legs a little bit out. How are your legs feeling right now? Right. You know what? I'm so excited. We have some new emotes coming up very, very soon. I'm not sure if they are ready in. I need to check afterwards. You know what? Let's check right now. I'm excited. Uh, let's see quickly. Uh, I don't think yet. They still need to be approved, so that's going to take some more time, I guess. Ooh, good. So bring your hands together, interlace the fingers and shake your wrists, circling your wrists right now. So interlacing the fingers very softly. No need to grab on too much throughout the fingers, but softly grabbing on interlacing the fingers exactly okay from there release your hands shake your wrists shake your elbows shake your shoulders okay. bring your right hand right, sorry right leg to the back and to the left so it's at the outer edge it's now standing on the outer edge you can bend your front foot so knee is bent, front foot, then why front foot, bend the knee of the front foot. Grab on with your left hand to the right wrist and lean to the left. Shifting your hips to the right, drawing the belly in and up, leaning to the left. Great. Breathing in deep. And as you're breathing out, reach. To the front and to the left, shifting your hips to the back, keeping your hips from the hips to the fingers long. And you don't want to round yourself here, but we're reaching front left and then standing up again. Breathing out, release. Great job. Shake your wrists. Other side, bring your front your left foot to the right behind the front foot to the outer edge good bend your front foot so bend the knee of the front foot drawing the belly in and up grab on with your right hand to the left wrist shift your hips to the left and lean to the right drawing the belly in and up great you're doing amazing feel a stretch throughout from the bottom leg to the top of the fingers great and breathing out, shifting your hips to the back. And leaning to the front, right, hinging at the hips, not rounding them with the back. Good. And releasing, standing up. If you have any questions at any point, if something is unclear, always feel free to ask. Shake your body out. That feel right now. <sighs> Just breathe in deep. Come to a good stance so your feet are hip width apart. And we're going through Tadasana today. So, Tadasana is called Mountain Pose. So, what we're doing here is first checking your stance again. You can also take one jump and stand where you land. And then push your feet out. Feet are pushing out of the, on the mat if you're standing on the mat or the floor. Then drawing the shins in. So shins in a little bit. Draw the kneecaps up. And from there, keeping all these, um, keeping all these engagements, your 
thighs want to turn inward and back. So, so when you lie your hands down on your thighs, your thumb wants to turn to the back. Exactly. And what's happening there, I, I try to over exaggerate here a little. What's happening is that your lower back, back the rounding is getting increased or there's more of an arch when you're doing that. I now try to over exaggerate. Hope you can somewhat see it. And then drawing the belly in and up kind of on arcs a little bit, but a lower arc is still there, which is natural, which is what we want. Good. From there, bring the chest a little bit, so shoulders a little bit back, chin a little bit back. Great. Getting long from the feet to the top of the head. And release. Shake your feet. Shake your feet. You're amazing. You're doing amazing, guys. So good to have you today. Uh, from there, come to a good stance and start jump out, jumping out of the knees. Release your shoulders, release your neck. How does that feel to you? You can close your eyes if you like. You can also intensify by jumping out of the heels if you like and reconnecting them with the floor. Or you can jump out of the toes as well and try to reconnect here also the whole foot with the floor and then using your knees as absorber of the hit that you receive with the feet landing on the floor. Right. Absorber. <laughs> Releasing the shoulders, the neck. Right. So really try to land with your heels. Release completely, come to a stand. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And releasing. Open your eyes again. See where you are. Maybe you're a little bit to the side. Good. And smile. So let's hug, hug the whole world today a little bit. One of my favorite exercises here. Um, by that, bring your hands up, front of your heart. Start to warm them up. And open your eyes again. Start to warm up your hands. And as soon as they feel a little bit warm, bring them just a little bit away from your face, over the eyes. And close your eyes and feel the warmth here. Emitting from the hands. Good. Yeah. And then release the hands down on your face. Feel how the fingers are connected to your face. And as rain would fall down on your face, draw your fingers slowly down and feel refreshed. Bring your arms up by your sides, a little bit over your shoulders and get long from the feet to the head. Breathing in, get long from the feet to the head. Next breath in, get long from the shoulders to the fingers. Longer, longer, longer. Breathing in. Next breath in, extend the fingers away from each other. Spread the fingers. Breathing in. Next breath in, get long from the feet to the head. Long from the shoulders to the fingers. Extend the fingers away from each other. Smile. And thinking about hugging the whole world here. <sighs> Breathing out and releasing the arms. Give yourself a big, big, big hug. Great. And smile. Doing amazing. Powerful hug. 
and release the hug and change the side, other arm on top. Great. Smile a little and release the arms. Great. Shake your feet. Whew. Bring your arms by your sides up. We're doing one of the exercises that I learned from a colleague from America. America. So from here, from the hips, we want to get long, long, long up to the shoulders. And we want to have a body integrated. So belly and chest is in integrated. We want to create a box here and hold that box in place. And with that box, you move to the right, keeping that box at all times. And then with that box, you move to the left, keeping that box all times. Right. Doing amazing. To the right. And to the left. Your belly is engaged. And when you lean to the right, your left leg lifts automatically off the floor. When you lean to the left, your right leg lifts automatically off the floor. Great. Good. And then next time we're going to the left, you're holding it on the left. How hard is it right now? For me, it's quite hard. Then release slowly and hold it on the right. And if you like, you can grab around your belly. See what is your belly doing right now? Is your left side engaged? Is your right side engaged? Oh, how does it feel? So test a little bit. How does it feel? And then from there, release down. Woo! Release down. Shake your wrists, shake your shoulders. From here, we're doing wet towels exercise. So keeping your knees engaged, your thighs engaged a lot. From the belly button, we're turning to the left and then to the right. But keeping your knees and your thighs engaged so much that they are not moving. So arms released to the left, then to the right. And you can look to the right and to the left. Great. If your head, or you can look straight forward, also a possibility. Smashing your wrists into your back, your lower back. Keeping your knees and your thighs engaged a lot, a lot. Finding more space in the shoulders and the whole spine. Engaging your knees and your thighs a lot. Moving with the muscles of your belly. Great. This is a very great exercise if you're sitting a lot. And take some practice, so don't worry if you can't, don't get it right away. This is also great for your wrists, as the wrists are getting a great massage. And then release, completely releasing your arms right now. Okay. And feel how there's still some impulses in your body going left and right here. Good. And with these impulses, if you can still feel them, this is where the center of your body lies. And from the center out, we shift the body forward to the toes. Then to the right, have both feet still connected to the floor, to the back, to the left. Great. And go in your rhythm. 
forward, right, back, left, your rhythm. And changing the side, going into the other side, into the other direction. Additionally, you can challenge yourself and release your arms as much as you can. So the arms are just hanging down your body, not balancing. If you fall out of it, laugh about it. You're doing great. Next time you're forward, bring your legs down, feel the toes connected to the floor, the big toe mount connected to the floor, the outer edges of the feet connected to the floor, the heels connected to the floor. Ah, good. How does that feel? From there, as we feel everything connected to the floor, the toes, big toe mount, heels and outer edges, you want to shift the weight to all these four say anchor points and give some weight distribute the weight to the toes some to the big toe mount some weight to the heel some to the outer edges of the feet shifting distributing the weight equally throughout these four points Close your eyes for a moment and feel how you feel gro grounded and connected. And knowing that if you feel that grounded or if you're so connected to the ground, you can move your body effortless, right? You can move to the right, to the left, way easier than you would if you're not as connected to the floor. Good. Good. Today we're going into tree pose and tree pose we really lift one leg really really slowly up shifting all the weight to either the left or the right leg and uh, you decide and then slowly bringing your other leg closer to the standing leg and lifting the leg up either to the lower leg or to the upper leg take your time getting there so either to the lower leg or to the upper leg. If you've never done the lower leg, I encourage you to try out the lower leg. If you've never done the upper leg, maybe you can get there. So grabbing on with one hand, right, drawing it up. And then engaging your butt cheeks, engaging your psoas, turning the knee a little bit out, drawing the belly in and up. Great. And if you've never done the lower leg can also go there and just push in a little bit with your leg so you can hold it right engaging the butt cheeks as well drawing the belly in and up and as soon as you find a stable pose feel that the foot is still connected and the weight is distributed among the foot and then lift your arms up into the sky drawing the belly in and up getting long from the foot up to the fingers Getting long, long, long. I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in. And out. As you're breathing out, taking up more space. As you're breathing out. No, as you're breathing out, taking up more space. As you're breathing in, get longer from the foot to the top of the fingers. Right, and release. Bring your right leg down slowly, controlled. If you fall out of it at any point, feel free to laugh about it. And again, shift all the way to the right leg. Feel the toes connected, feel the big toe mount connected to the floor. 
outer side of the edge, the outer edge of the foot, the heel, and shift all the weight to these four points, distributing the weight and slowly bring your other leg in and moving up your leg, either on the lower or on the upper leg. Not on the knee, this is important. Good. From there, engage your butt cheeks, engage your psoas a little, drawing the belly in and up. And as soon as you find a stable position, bring your hands up into the sky. Breathing in deep, get long, long, long. And breathing out, taking up more space. And if you like to challenge yourself a little bit, you can breathe in deep. Ooh, I've got some wind here. Breathing in deep and you can look up into the sky first. Additionally, you can close your eyes. See how much wind is there. And if you fall out of it, just step down. Shake your feet. Awesome job. How do your feet feel right now? Whoop. Moving Sean a little bit out of the way. Thank you, Sean. And step a little bit to the back of the mat or in the middle of the mat. That's good. Bring your right foot up as far as you can, drawing the belly in and up. A little bit more sweatier exercise right now coming up. Just also balancing exercise. Feel your foot connected to the floor. And then shifting your foot to the back, leaning forward. Come into kind of a warrior free right now, but your hands are still at the hips right now. So pushing your foot into an imaginary back wall there and also feel the foot, standing foot connected to the floor. If you can hold this, bring your hands slowly forward. Extend the fingers away from each other. Extend the hands as far as you can. Get long, 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 long from the back foot to the top of the fingers. Drawing the belly in and up. Your head is relaxed. And slowly bring your foot forward again and up and see how it feels right now to bring the foot up. Does it feel different than the first time? Release your foot down and turn it to the out. Turn the outer edge of the foot down to the floor and lift the foot up again. See how far you can lift the foot up when it's turned to the little bit slightly to the right, your right foot. Or if you have the left foot up, a little bit turn to the left with the left foot and release down. Awesome job. How does your right foot feel right now? It's quite, quite an exercise. So let's do the other side. Bring the left foot slowly up. First of all, shifting all the weight to the right foot, left foot up, as far as you can. Maybe it's up here, <laughs> maybe it's a little bit further down, it's okay. Honoring where you are, doing an amazing job, drawing the belly in and up, and then slowly bringing your foot to the back, extend the foot to the back into an imaginary wall, leaning forward, Ooh, if you need to hold on to something here, you can do so. It feels good. Awesome. Feel all the toes connected to the floor, the heels connected to the floor. Good. From there, push your foot as much back as you can. Keep the hips parallel to the floor. And at any point, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you're encouraged to ask. Please ask. Bring your hands forward over the head. Woo, there's a little bit, feels a little bit different here. 
push your back leg into an imaginary wall. Get it long, long, long. And slowly bring your foot forward again. And up. Whew. Way harder for me to balance here right now. How does it feel for you? Does this side feel different? Bring your foot up again as much as you can. And then turn it to the outer side. The outer edge turns to the left, if it's the left foot. And then reach your foot up again. Great. Belly in and up. And slowly release your foot down. Shake your feet. Oh, how does that feel? Smiling. Good. So with these warmed up legs, let's stretch them a little bit more. And then let's come to our back and lie down on our back. Probably ready for Shavasana already. So in the middle of your mat, bring your left foot forward, right foot back, bend your right knee, hinging at the hips and starting to feel a hamstring stretch here, drawing the belly in and up. Good. What you want to do, bring one hand on your back and feel along your spine. So you don't want to feel any uh, vertebra sticking out. If you feel vertebra sticking out, then you're rounded. You don't want to be rounded here, but you want to hinge at the hips. Exactly. You're doing amazing. Get along from the hips to the head, bending your back, neck, le back knee. And then release, change the side, other, other foot forward, bend your back knee, hinge at the hips. From the hips, get long to the feet, top of the head. Breathing in deep. Oh, now to release your breath. in deep, the belly into the chest. Oh, no. Again, check with your lower spine. It's not rounded. Awesome. Release. Doing amazing. Stretching the hamstring is very, very great for your lower spine. Bend your back knee again, changing the side just one time. One deep breath. Hinging at the hips. Breathe in deep. And breathing out, maybe, just maybe, hinge a little bit deeper and come up again. And again, breathing in deep, hinging forward. Feel a hamstring stretch here. Your front knee is a little bit bent, right? It's not stretched through fully, but it's a little bit bent. Exact. And breathing out, maybe go a little bit deeper. And coming up, amazing job. Shake your feet, check in with your feet. Hinging at the hips, bending your knees and releasing your hands down. <sighs> Forward fold here. You can have your knees bent at the moment. And place your hands down and come into a sit. Whoop. So just shift yourself to the back and lie down on your back. Good. Extend your feet, extend your arms over the head and get long in the right side. So right leg long, right arm long and then left leg long, left arm long. And again, right leg long, right arm long. Left leg long, left arm long. Going left and right here. Hi, Loco. You know, barrel roll. I can't do that alone. I need another partner here. 
but um, there's a there's something that is a barrel roll and yeah I mean I can do a barrel roll barrel roll is I don't know what it exactly is in English you know it's just a forward forward roll I'm not sure getting long in the left so good to see you loco thank you for coming in by the way how are you doing Get your left leg long, left arm long, and then right arm long, right leg long. This is very good for your lower back. Very good to see you. How is it in Aruba? Haven't seen you on in quite a while. Normally you were streaming very much. Now I don't see you on that much. Probably you have a lot of work to do, I guess. And from here, here, bring your knees up, bring your hands to the sides into cactus position. Knees up and release your, release your knees to the right. Chilling. And then to the left, chilling is also good. Release the knees to the right and then to the left. <sighs> Yeah, I, I stopped playing a lot, so I'm not playing as much anymore. I'm more doing yoga. And today we're doing a podcast later onwards. So if you're interested about health and yoga, you can come in and ask a question. I'm doing a podcast together with uh, another uh, yoga practitioner here or yoga teacher here on uh, Twitch, which is super awesome. I think connecting people together here on Twitch. And by the way, thank you for your help uh, the last time. Uh, it was just a Twitch issue, unfortunately. So releasing the knees to the right and to the left. When you release the knees to the right, let the right knee um, guide the way. And then when you go to the left, let the left knee guide the way. So thank you for your help. Extend your feet, bring your arms by your sides and palms are pointing up towards the sky. So I wish you a very great day, Loco, if you're already heading off or if you're still staying. Thank you for that. Thank you for the lurk. Bring your palms up towards the sky. Your feet are facing away from each other. You can spread your legs a little bit. Bring your arms a little bit further to your side if you want. And just lay there, just be. This is the hardest position. Thank you for, wait. Hey, pumpkin. Thank you for the subscription if you're here. Thank you so much. We're getting a new emotes very soon. Thank you so much. You're awesome, pumpkin. And just lay down right now and just be here in Shavasana. Just be. Toes are facing away from each other. Are you here in the chat or is this just... <laughs> I'm not sure. Thank you so much, pumpkin. Oh, you're here. Welcome in. Thank you so much for that. And the emote should be ready very, very soon. By the way, Pumpkin, later on we have um, a podcast. I'm very excited. So, you know what? I'm speaking with you in just a moment. Just release your body right now. Just be sorry for interrupting your Shavasana. Just be, your palms are pointing up towards the sky. Those are facing away from each other. Just be. I will get you back to your body in about, in, in some minutes.
Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. Shifting yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down on your side body. In the side body position, start to release all the tension in your shoulders, in the neck, in the tongue. Softening the skin of the face. Releasing all the tension in your arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the chest, the belly, the hips, the legs, the knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes. Breathing in deeply and really effortlessly release all the tension into the floor, just lying on your side. Your next breath in, lift yourself up and come into a final sitting position. Take your time, have your eyes still closed if you can. Bring the hands in front of the heart together, honoring your yoga practice today. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for so much for practicing with me today. Release your arms and opening the eyes. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for Loco for being here. Thank you so much Pumpkin for coming in with the subscription. You know it already, but Pumpkin, you're amazing! Thank you! Yay! Love you! Thank you! Thank you so much, Pumpkin. You're amazing. Thank you for the support. This means very much to me. And there are new emotes coming. Uh, I just uploaded them yesterday. And a new, you will get a new heart emote. So, yeah together with Sean, right? You're holding a, Sean, a heart, Sean. Yeah, I'm holding a heart. <laughs> so you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having a good time with me. And we're, we're, keep, we're keeping on going, right? Tomorrow we yoga again, as every day from seven o'clock to 7.45 Central European time and we're here every day for you so if you like to join in one day feel free to if you have any requests or you if you want to do extra slow yoga or if you want to a little bit of more sporty more sweaty yoga just come in ask for it and i'll do my best to change it up a little bit and if you have any special requests like maybe my back is hurting or something can we do something against that or for for your back um come in and ask about it and we're just changing up the lesson right away so feel free to do that you're very welcome to do that you guys next to that um, yeah you find me on YouTube subscribe and hit the bell there if you like this content all these live streams will get uploaded to YouTube Next to that, uh, my Discord is open. If you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, you can head over to my Discord and ask questions there. Or you can just ask in the live stream right away. Good. I appreciate every follow here on Twitch. And next to that, one more thing. I, I just forgot it. Ah, yeah. We have a podcast um, later onwards, a live podcast, they, together with Grace Yoga at six o'clock in the afternoon central european time so 6 p.m central european time and if you like to come by there or ask some questions uh, feel free to do that and i really would appreciate it if you have any questions about health or yoga feel free to come by and let's see how we can answer 
uh, we'll be discussing a lot about yoga, a lot about maybe uh, beginner and yoga, how, how beginners are starting out or something like that. And it's not completely sure, but if you have, if you're interested in this kind of area, yoga and health, you're very welcome to come by and ask some questions. So Pumpkin, I hope you're doing well. How are you doing? How are you doing? And with these words, we're slowly, or with this question, we're slowly closing, of course. But first of all, I hope you're doing good, Pumpkin. And then we're heading over to somebody else. Thank you so much for subscription again. You're the MVP here. Thank you so much. Yeah, very awesome. And yeah, if you're not here right now, we're going to raid somebody. Raid somebody. But I'll give you some some minutes. <sighs> and also releasing this effortless right now. I mean, you can stay with it. Effortless is probably something you can take throughout the day and you can integrate it with the things you're doing and it's a wonderful word effortless yeah good with that said let's go and i'm excited to rate somebody right now let's see let's see is online Lantern art is online today so maybe let's go over to him. I'm not completely sure right now. Um, let's see. Ah, Otos is online. Oh, yep, don't want that. Uh, let's head over to Otos then, because I like to ride there. And with that said, let's go. You guys, are you excited? Otos? Otos is a great streamer. She's really chilled out, so Let's go over to her and she's, I think she's doing art, she's drawing something. Let's give her some hype, you guys, and some love, of course. I wish you a very great day and I hope to see you very soon again. I really appreciate you guys being here. And again, as said, later on, I'm on 6 o'clock Central European time. Uh, give Oto some love. She's a great streamer, she's really chilled out. Uh, have a lot of fun with her. And with that said, let's go. Let's go and raid her. Send her some love. Let's go. Bye, you guys. See you very soon. Tomorrow or later. Um, today. Bye.